Welcome, everybody. Uh, my name is Teresa Lewis, and welcome to our Snow Globe Painting Holiday event. Our event is sponsored by Autumn Leaves, Parkwood Retirement, and Signature Point. Uh, we are communities that are managed by Life Care Services, an LCS company. And Life Care Services uh, manages over 140 communities, serving 35,000 seniors nationwide. Um, Oh, just a little uh, side note about Life Care Services. We're really excited. We were just recently announced by uh, the J.D. Power and Associates survey that we are the first and only senior living community that ranked number one in customer satisfaction three consecutive years. So we're really excited about that. Um, we are going to be recording the event. So I'm going to ask that everybody turn your cameras off, put yourself in mute mode, and that way, Heather, who is our guest speaker today from Arts on the Go, she's going to be able to be the prominent view here on the screen. So we will be sending out the link after the event so that you can go back and watch it. If there's any touch-ups or anything you missed or want to see again, you'll be able to do that. So without further ado, I'm going to turn it over to Heather. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining us today. This is going to be so fun, easy, and just a cute um, little decor piece to add to your winter collection. So um, in your kit, you have your canvas that has the um, picture pre-sketched and on the back is an easel. So you pop that open. You can either paint with the easel standing up or flat up to you. So um, I prefer to paint flat, but totally up to you. Um, and then you've got your two brushes the what we call a one inch flat and then your detail brush and if you want to get a cup of water and paper towel you can otherwise i provided wet wipes so those will clean your brush in between um uses in changing colors and then you can also use it to kind of blot your um, snow pattern and then you have your six main colors and then you have an extra um separate one that has the glitter so um, we'll add that at the end. You can kind of see the glitter here in the snow. Um, <clears throat> so I'm going to prop this up over here. And then your step-by-step -step instruction guide. We're going to follow those almost exactly, um, but not quite. We don't have stencils for the snowflakes. So, all right, everyone ready to get started? So we're going to start with the light blue. You're gonna kind of just brush that lightly, light and loose, light and loose. So leaving some white space in between your strokes. You'll go all around the globe. And this is with your thick brush. All the way around, just kind of tap tap or brush, and then we'll fill in these gaps with actual white paint. We don't want any spaces to not be painted. So we'll, what we want white, we'll paint white. <clears throat> so we're gonna go now inside the globe. a little bit in your wreath area as well. Okay, then we're gonna, without changing um, or cleaning your brush, you're just gonna dip into the white and the same, you're just gonna go over. So all of these strokes will get blended. Go around your bird. And it's okay if you go over the lines, the pencil lines, because we're gonna go back in and actually paint that white anyway. So the extra coat will help cover that um, sketch mark. So this is just the fun part. You can't mess up, just enjoy the coloring. Thank you. 
And you can take your wipe if you want and um, kind of blend like. The wipe, the wet wipe just kind of helps move the paint. So like this. And do that. Is anyone playing Christmas music in the background? <laughs> Help inspire you. I did a time lapse video of this on my Facebook page and used Dean Martin's Let It Snow as the background. This part is what really takes the longest, just covering all your space. And if you wanna do the edges, you're welcome to do the edges too. Or you can always do that later after the class. Almost done here. And then just any finishing touches. I'm gonna go ahead and use that wipe to kind of go over those little tiny spaces that I don't wanna mess up. All right. So you have kind of, looks almost like watercolor at this point. Um, gives you that kind of ethereal cloud, windy effect. All right. So you can kind of blow on it or wave it around, let it dry a little, especially if you're using an easel um, and having it stand up, you could get a little more drippage. So <clears throat> as long as that's pretty dry, these acrylics dry really fast, so we're lucky. So that was step one, painting your whole canvas light blue. And your image is already transferred on, so step two is done for you. So we're on step three. We're gonna take our detail brush Um, define the snow globe. So you're going to use the white paint and just trace around. Does not have to be perfect. If you have a shaky hand, don't worry about it. So we're just tracing. And we'll put a second coat so that'll cover up the rest of the pencil marks. So you're just coming all the way around. <clears throat> and if you just leave the excess paint that's on your brush, instead of wiping it all off, that'll give you more of a thicker, like painterly is what we call it, um, texture effect. So you went all the way around. And of course, this bottom line will be covered with the red, so. And we're gonna go ahead and paint in this snow also one time. Just because we wanna cover all the linen, all the canvas. We're gonna go ahead and paint 
your snowman. Kind of just go in a circular motion, like a spiral. And then once we paint the black, we'll drag some of that in for a shadow effect. Again, it's okay if you cover up the little buttons because we'll add them in. It probably will still be transparent enough to see. You can still see the, the facial features through that white paint. <clears throat> Give you a couple seconds to catch up. So my name's Heather Cordova and I own Arts on the Go. I have an art truck that we take around to different schools, um, after school programs, summer camps, um, weekly classes. We do lots of community events. I've done tree lightings all month, fall festivals. Um, and then I also own a studio in Alito. So um lots of activities for kids and adults both so we have ladies night out once a month and this was um this was actually our project last year so all right that should be pretty dry so now we're going to just add a little bit of circular movement here around the globe. And then if you flip your brush over to the back, to the wooden side, that'll give you a round, perfect dot. So we're gonna use that for the snow versus the stencil that um, is reusable, so it's like a sticker. And so for parties, in-person parties, we just pass the stencil around. So this, and you're just gonna dot, dot, tap, 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 and make your snow. <clears throat> and you can make bigger ones. And again, if you keep them thick, it'll give you some little bit of pop in texture. And then at the very end, we'll kind of just splatter the whole thing. So. All right. Just random. You can even close your eyes and just pick because otherwise our human nature will get us going in <laughs> straight lines and things like that. So just mix it up. All right. So now we're on basically step six and seven. So we're going to do the um, base in red. So you can really use either brush that you want. You can use your big brush again. <clears throat> we're going to dip in the red, paint our base. Go ahead and cover that um, line between the base and the globe. And I wrote joy on mine, but you can leave it blank. You can put your last name, you can put anything you want to on there after we paint the red and after it dries. So leaving that open to whatever you guys wanna do, that's why I didn't fill in anything on your canvas when I did the sketch. You might wanna put Noel or anything you'd like. So 
So we have the base there. Then I would use your small brush for the little cardinal. And if the paint looks too thin, we'll go back once it dries and put a second coat. Because if you keep trying to brush over the wet, it just will smear from side to side and you won't get any more coverage. So we'll do that second coat in a minute. <clears throat> and if you want, you can flip it upside down so that the bird is closer to you. So you don't have to worry about dragging your hand over the wet red paint. So flip it, outline your bird. And if you just kind of tip, tip, tip your brush, it'll give it a little bit of a feathery look. Okay. <clears throat> then while we have red on the brush, we're gonna come over here and do the band on the snowman's hat. Just one stroke straight across. And again, if you go over, you can take your little wipe and just clean it right up. So letting that dry a little, kind of blow on it. Well, what else is red? The ornaments, right? So next thing, you can, again, flip your brush over to make perfect little circles. Because sometimes these brushes, they'll spread out and you'll get um, extra paint. But if you don't care, then it's up to you. Circles. These could either be like ornaments or berries from the, his arms, if you used sticks for your berries. I don't think we're gonna get to build a snowman this year. Maybe, we'll see. This is Texas, right? <laughs> okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead and move over to the bow. So just trying to minimize how many times you wash your brush. And we go in a circle around when we're painting. So then by the time you get to your last thing, your first thing's dry and you can do the second coat. So circle in the middle for the bow. And then you just have one line here. One line here. They don't have to be exact shapes, really. Just more like strokes. Okay. So now I'm gonna go back, add a little red in there any place that you feel <clears throat> you can still see the canvas through. So basically you don't have to repaint the whole thing, just any areas that are a little bit light for you.
And remember the closer that you hold your brush to the metal, just like a pencil, you'll be able to really um, stay in your lines, create a line. If you hold it way out here, it's like, gets a little dizzy. can touch up the bird a little bit. If you have any um, pencil marks left at the end, you can go back in and outline it a little with black too. So, especially the bird. We're gonna use black for the wing, so. All right. So that was step seven. We're going to do step eight, which is the branches. I'll give you a couple minutes to catch up again. Also remember if you are getting caught up in details, this will be hanging. So it's not going to be right up in your face. <laughs> so from a distance, some of those flaws will not be seen. So don't worry. <laughs> Just have fun. And if you need a reminder, you can look on your um, instructions. There's a picture of the final product. Okay, so you'll clean your brush. We're going into black. So again, it doesn't have to be, we always go light to dark so that you don't have to worry about mixing colors. <clears throat> All right, so black with your thin brush the liner brush. We're gonna paint the branches. So just tap just the tip of your brush. You're not gonna press down really hard. You're just gonna line, 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 like that. Just go back in a tiny bit and fill in any white spaces. But remember they're branches. So they're supposed to be twiggy and not straight. So. The other arm. And I'm gonna come up here and you can add a little hook on if you wanted them to be like ornaments hanging on his arm. Okay. Then we're gonna do the hat. So remember we're working in one area and then moving to the other area. Oops. Okay, hat.
見れるとえ out of the lines I got out of the lines okay <coughs> That looks good. So now, <clears throat> same thing, we're going to flip the brush because we've got to do the buttons. And even for the eyes, we're still going to use the back of the brush because it's so small that we don't want giant eyes. He doesn't need big fake eyelashes, right? So we're going to flip the brush and do little rainbows for the eyes, little rainbows or frowny faces. And then little charcoal smile. Dot, dot, dot. And you can see how you can control the size of the dots by how much paint's on the back of your brush. <clears throat> All right, and then don't do the other buttons yet. Don't do the buttons yet. If you already did, it's fine. But <clears throat> I'm gonna have you go over the white again before we do the buttons. Okay, so black on the lamp. Same thing. We're just going to do the little peak. Then come down each side. Don't fill in the middle because the middle is the candle. So just down each side. And this is just a solid line. Kind of bows out. And it doesn't have to be perfectly straight across because you could have some snow up on the bottom of the lamp post. <clears throat> okay, the bird feet just little lines and same with the beak. You're not actually trying to draw a triangle. You're just gonna do stroke, stroke, two strokes. And the wing. Then your eye, I would flip it over again. So this is where I was saying, if you want to do any outline, you can kind of add a little, it's up to you. And then you can lighten it up with your wet wipe. Lighten it up or go back over it with red. While it's still kind of wet, you can change, clean your brush a little. Go back over with red to tone down the black a little. All right.
these type of things are the details you could get caught up on for an hour. So <laughs> sometimes you just have to move on, walk away. All right, so Bird's done. We're not going back to him. And if you're worried about pulling paint from the black wing over to the red, just start the other way. Go from the red in and then you won't get so much blending, okay? <clears throat> so now we're gonna go with the green. So clean your brush. Let's see, we're on step. We did step 10, that was fill the hat black. We did the buttons. So we'd have to mix um, red and yellow to get the orange. So if you wanna do that, like in the cap of your um, acrylic paint pots, just flip open one of the caps and mix some yellow and red. Or if you're done with your red, you can just mix it in there. You just need a tiny little bit because you're just using it really for the nose and the flame of the candle in the um, lamppost. It's just kind of fun to mix colors, so. <laughs> but you're not done with your yellow, so don't mix don't mix the orange in the yellow container. You can mix it in the red, but don't mix it in the yellow. All right, so I made an orange there. <clears throat> so you just wanna make sure that your hat is dry and your eyes are dry. If they're not, then we can't do the carrot. So we're gonna go ahead and do the, um, wreath. So we're going to do the wreath green and the scarf green. All right, so your scarf just comes straight across. Kind of like the bow. It's not really a shape. You just kind of want it free flowing. And then the drier that your brush is at the tip will give it that fringe for the edge. So you can dry your brush and then just fringe. Of course, if you wanna get really detailed, you can draw lines for fringe. Not sure you have a small enough brush to do that. I would just 
There we go. Okay, and then we'll come over, do the wreath, and we'll come back. That should be dry, and we can add the white stripes. So the wreath, you're going to use your thin brush, and we're just going to tap on each side of the line to give it that um, full look. So you're going to take green, and instead of drawing in a circle, we're going to create a circle. So you're going to tap, 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 side to side. Like that. Tap. And it goes in front of the lamppost. So make sure you're tapping around there. Okay, and then we're gonna add a little bit of the yellow. So without changing colors, so you don't need to clean your brush, I mean, we're just gonna go into the yellow a little bit, just a little, pretty dry and tap. Give it a little highlight. Pretty. Looks like an old Main Street. <clears throat> Hallmark movie on your canvas. <laughs> okay, so how's the green scarf? Is it dry? Pretty much. I feel like I need more green paint on the scarf. So just go ahead and fill that in just like we did the base down there. Okay. Now you can clean your brush. Clean your brush. <clears throat> While we're waiting for this green to dry, we're going to go ahead and do the carrot. So use that orange that you made and we're going to draw, let's see, what step is this, um, 13, yeah, about 13, 12, 12 and 13. So you're going to do a long skinny triangle, so it goes up. like wider at the base, long, tall, skinny triangle. And you want it to go into the hat to give it that depth perception. Okay. And then we're gonna do the candle over here. So yellow, just one thin line of yellow right here. One super thin line. 
of yellow. Then at the top, you don't have to clean your brush. Get some orange and make a little flame. So this is where you can push down on your brush. You don't have to just use the tip. Go ahead and give it a little teardrop. Push, push down on your brush for that. And then of course, if you need to make any adjustments, like if you want your candle thick, wider, you can do that. If your nose needs to be more opaque, just go over it again. It should be dry already. Okay. Same if you need to go over that bow. If you still have red, you can go over it. Because then we will be done with this lamp post area. This whole section is done. And then just Hold it out, look at it from a distance, admire your work. And we're going to finish up our snowman. If you need your other wipe, go ahead and use it. Because <clears throat> now you really need a clean brush because we're going to go with white. So. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna take the white, go back with your snow, and then Just lightly, lightly dip your brush in the black and pat it off. Pat off most of the paint, the black paint. And just come around here on the two sides and then back to white. Cover that up. We just want to give it a little shadow effect. And then this will also help if any of your pencil lines aren't covered, it'll look like a shadow too. Okay. Now the buttons, so tip of your brush. And remember, if you get too much black in that step, just use your wipe, wipe it right off. Buttons. Okay, so your brush should be clean. If it's not, wipe it. And then we're gonna do the little stripes. If you want stripes, if you want stripes on your um, scarf, we'll put them. You don't have to have them. If you just like it how it is. Or polka dots, you could do polka dots on the scarf.
So like that. <clears throat> okay. So now your red should be dry. We're gonna use the white. And if you decided what you wanna put for your word, or you can leave it blank too. But if you wanted to do a word, go ahead and paint that in now. Just the tip of your brush, remember don't push hard. Cause if you push hard, you're gonna get a really wide uh, line and then you'll lose your lettering just quick. Just go quick and light. And then you can add some little highlights. that. Okay, and now with your thick brush, we're going to go and kind of make this should be dry. So you're gonna use your glitter on that part in one sec. We're letting the rest of the snowman dry. So while we're doing that, we're gonna splatter. If you want, if you have an area that you don't want messy, then you don't have to do this part because you already have your snowflake dots. If you wanna add more dots, add more. But if you wanna splatter, you're gonna take your thick brush, get paint on it, and if you have water, you can dip it in the water and then you're just gonna flick, flick, flick. Mine had a little red on it still, so. I can just cover that up with blue. So again, here <clears throat> I have a mistake, so I can cover that up with blue. Easy peasy. All right. So now clean everything up, get your brush clean, and we're going to open your glitter. So let's see, what step are we on? Where I did 20 a long time ago. Uh, so step 24, add snow text. Snow text is super messy in my opinion. It's like a thick, kind of like that stuff you spray on your windows. It's like that. Um, and it's kind of smelly because it's basically glue and baking soda <laughs> if you made it at home. So if you'd like to make some glue and baking soda. Um, but I gave you really chunky glitter. So it's, still a cool effect. So chunky glitter paint, you're gonna add that onto your snow down here, leave it chunky for effect. All right. Then less chunky, or I don't care, you can make it chunky. We're gonna do on your snowman. 
to. You just don't need quite as much, I think, because um, you're just giving it a little, just a little shimmer. Tap, tap, tap. But on the bottom, I like it to be thick because then it looks like piles of snow in a snow globe, right? Where it all accumulates in the bottom. Of course, if you love it, if you love the glitter, you can add it wherever you want. You can put it a light dusting on the outside. And then if you, that's a dog hair. We don't want that in there. Um, if you want like your globe outline, if that bothers you, if it's not covered, you can do that now as well. Do any finishing touches that you have. That second coat of paint really changes everything, covers everything. So. All right, there you go. It's a snowman showdown. So happy holidays. Anybody have any questions? If you have a question, you can, um, I guess, email me on the back of the um, instruction sheet has all my contact information. If you want to order any more kits, I sell them as well on the website. So hope to see you guys again soon. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I hope everybody enjoyed. Is anybody uh, brave enough to show us your work of art? Right. Does anybody want to open up and show their screen? Um, how do you open the screen? Share screen? Yeah. Start video. Should just start video. And Oh, start video. See me? I'm not a painter. My name there is Carolyn, go. but this is all hey, I know you're going to laugh. Now, now, now go on and laugh. Here it is. You see it? Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> My first time painting. <laughs> yeah, well, now you, you have um, instructions. You can do oh. it again. Yes. Yep, here's mine. Jackie, yours is great too. Yeah, she's a painter. That's beautiful, Jackie. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good job. Eileen, where's yours? Is she on? Yeah, she was. Yeah, oh, she's well. on. Let me see yours, Eileen. She's putting her in the hot seat. <laughs> she hasn't unmuted. She's still. And this is, you should have extra paint. So if you want to do this with your grandkids, you can do this on paper, regular paper. Do you have other Christmas scenes? Uh-huh. Okay. All right. We all did a great job. Well, thank you so, so much. You're, You're welcome. welcome. Thank, you. thank you. I enjoyed it. Oh, Good. Great. Thanks for sharing. <laughs> all right, guys. We all have a great day. Enjoy your holiday season. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Bye.